The Bridgewater Triangle is known, of course, for Bigfoot sightings, among lots of other things. And we're not standing, we're standing not too far from a location where an alleged footprint was found just a couple of years ago. Now, there was a lot of controversy around this. Uh, people started claiming it's a hoax. It may very well be a hoax, but it's interesting because even the hoax becomes part of the legend. When uh, you talk about people saying, oh yeah, that footprint was found. Some people will believe it's a hoax. Others will say, no, it couldn't be. That was a real footprint. It doesn't matter. It all becomes part of the story. And that's why we do this. Thunderbirds are a great story because uh, if you think about the most famous ever, it's easily uh, Point Pleasant, West Virginia when you talk about Mothman. Mothman, by all descriptions, was a Thunderbird, a large winged creature that looked like a man. These stories come up again and again in lots of different legends and lore, not just one part of the country. They're seen in the American Southwest, in New England, uh, in the Fruitlands Museum in the town of Harvard, Massachusetts. They've got an artifact that, that's called the Pomola, and it's a, a bronze statue that's the outline of a, of a Thunderbird, of a, a winged man creature. And so you have to ask, why does this thing come up again and again? Why do you know, people talk about this all over the country, even to the point where the United States Air Force, their elite PR squadron, calls themselves the, the Thunderbirds because we know the story, we know the legend. It instills fear. It's this big, you know, mythic, alleged mythic, although there's people that say they've seen it. So maybe it's not mythic. Maybe it's more than just a story. Maybe it's still here, just really elusive. We don't know.